Welcome back. In today's video, we'll go over variables, algebraic expressions, and equations. This is the second video under intermediate algebra and also the second section. So first up, we have variables. And variables are used in math when numbers are inadequate. A variable is typically a italic symbol or italic letter, I should say, which can be X, Y, or Z. Any letter from the alphabet can be used as a variable, such as A, B, C. Or it could be capital A, capital B, or capital C. And remember that a variable is used to represent an unknown quantity. You will see that in expressions. So now, let's take a look at expressions. So an expression consists of numbers, variables, and an operation symbol, such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. And sometimes we use the parentheses and other symbols such as dot to represent operations. And as usual, the parentheses can be used to group like things. So some expressions that will be numbered or x plus 2 or 2 times x or 3 which could be 20 minus x 4 could be x all over 4 minus x 5 could be 2x x so as usual, you want to evaluate these. So if x is equal to 2, then the following. 1 is equal to 2 plus 2, which gives us 4. For 2, 2 times 2 gives us 4. For 3, 20 minus 2 gives us 18. And for 4... Four is, where's four again? Okay. So it'll be two divided by four minus x, which is two, by two, that will give us one. And for five, we'll get that two times x times x, which is eight. And that's it for the following expression. So as we stated, that the algebraic expressions consist of numbers variables and operation symbols so we can now take a look at the equation so an equation is a mathematical statement that contains two algebraic expression that are equal so we could have that 4 is equal to the algebraic expression x plus 2 and as we said that contains as we said that the an equation is a mathematical statement that contains two algebraic expression that are equal. So we could just say that 2 minus, well, let's just put 4 minus 2. It doesn't matter if it's not equal, so... An algebraic expression, algebraic expression that is equal, and that gives us an equation. This is not for evaluation, it's just for representing what we just said. And we can go ahead and write the formula. So let me just use something I'm familiar with. The formula is a special type of equation that describes the relationship between two or more quantities. So force describes the relationship between its mass and acceleration. So note that when letters and numbers are placed together, the dot sign, or we can omit the sign for multiplication altogether. So and at times, we can omit the multiplication sign, the multiplication.
multiplication sign. I think we didn't write those down, but we can use multiplicate multiplication sign could represent an X, a dot, or we can use parentheses to indicate multiplication, or we can omit. So this would be mass times acceleration. So we can omit the multiplication sign altogether. We can use the parentheses, we can use the dot, or we can use the multiplication sign X. So in this case, statement five might not be eight if this is a multiplication sign. So let's say we made a mistake with the multiplication sign and we evaluated that expression with the sign itself representing a variable gives us eight. Eight will not be the answer. And instead, if we evaluate it with this being a multiplication sign, that will give us a value of four. So, in a formula, well, in, for, in this, so just for your information, as we just said, a formula is a special type of equation that describes the relationship between two or more quantities. This formula describes the relationship between mass and acceleration. And for your information, this formula states that to calculate the force, we need to multiply mass and acceleration. When multiplied, we get F, which is the product of mass and acceleration. And that quantity is known as force, and which is measured in Newton. The unit of force is Newton, which is represented as capital N. Mass is in kilogram. Acceleration is meter per second squared. So that's the unit for the Newton is kilogram meter per second squared. So this is the product of the two. And an equation always contains an equal sign. So algebraic expressions can contain more than one variable. If this is the case, we can we can evaluate some we can evaluate some algebraic expression such as 3yz there's more than one variable, that's two. Z minus Y, let's call that two. Z minus Y, or three, Z divided by two Y. If Z is equal to eight, and Y is equal to two, then the following gives us 48 for two, that gives us six for three that gives us two so this is just a brief explanation on variables algebraic expression and equations so variables are used in math when numbers are inadequate so in our expression we notice that we use our variables to represent some unknown quantity and then we stated that if that unknown quantity is 2, for 4 we then get 1. So the variable is used when numbers are inadequate. So because it was unknown, the number would be inadequate to represent an unknown quantity because a number is a known quantity. And for algebraic expression, an algebraic expression consists of numbers, variables, and operation symbols. And an equation is a mathematical statement that consists of two algebraic expressions and an equal sign. And a formula is a special type of equation that describes the relationship between two or more quantities. So that's it for today's video. See you in the next one. Bye.